don't back You still hit my phone Welcome everybody. It's an honor to be here standing in front of you as I reflect on 
six plus decades of what Seafair has been as a part of this community, building community spirit, and really representative of what everybody in this group is all about as you volunteer and give. Uh, it's, it's simply uh, amazing to think back in 1950, for those that don't know, when I came, I started about seven months ago, and, and I was curious, how did this all start? In 1950, there was a group of our forefathers who got together and created this downtown event called the Torchlight Parade. That's when the population of Greater Seattle was about 300,000 people. 250,000 people came to the parade, and that was the beginning 67 years ago, and it goes on today. And if you don't hear anything else that I say, what I want to suggest that you hang on to is, why is Seafair Matter? And it is three things. Everything we do and everything our volunteer groups here that are represented as well do is about building community. What we're all about is bringing the community together in eclectic and fun ways. The second piece is everything we do is about building memories. Many of you have been associated with Seafair for many, many years and you have these amazing memories. I heard one recently from a, a, a man who was in his 40s who talked about when he was four years old up until he was about six or seven, he, he said, I love going and seeing the air show and seeing the Blue Angels. And he said, I'd sit on my dad's shoulders and he'd put cotton in my ears and I'd watch those Blue Angels. I said, that had to be amazing to see. He said, it was amazing, but what was really amazing was that time with my dad, to be able to go and see that. And that's what Seafair creates, is an opportunity for all of us to have those kind of memories. And the third pillar of this great leg that was built for Seafair is affordable fun. Everything we do, you can come to for free. So we're building community, we're creating memories, and we're all about affordable fun. And before I go too deep into our traditions, I do want to take just a moment and please just everybody listen for a second. This is the most important thing I can tell you. There's a couple of, there's a couple of groups that are everything in this community that put this together. And I want to just acknowledge them here because we have all five of our family groups here today. Our boat club, our Commodores, the amazing Pirates, our Clowns, and our Parade Marshals. All of these are individual groups that are weaved in and associated with Seafair, and we couldn't do what we do if they didn't do what they do, so we're very blessed. I also noticed in the crowd, and I could not go on without mentioning this, uh, we have our former CEO, 10 years she gave of her life, in many ways, volunteer and make this happen. Beth Knox, wherever Beth is, right back here. Beth, thank you for being And then finally, I want to single out, I've got a, I'm blessed with an amazing staff, amazing group of interns that all support me. None of us are as smart as all of us. We have the most amazing not-for-profit board, volunteer board there is. There's many of them here, so I won't introduce them all, but I would like our chair to wave his hand. I don't see him now, but Steve, Steve Crandall, wave your hand. Where are you? So we, we, we're really blessed. These are all volunteers. Every one of these people give of their time to, to do what they do to make Seafair what it is. We're working hard to build on the backs of what Beth and all of those before us did, and we're working to take it up a notch this summer. We've got some exciting announcements. We're going to share with you shortly an, an amazing music act that we're going to introduce at this year's Summer 4th. And also, along with all the traditional, wonderful events that go on with our Seafair weekend, we're taking it up a notch with an amazing, amazing event we'll tell you more about uh, shortly. Before we get there, though, I want to underscore the most important part of this is we don't do this without the support of great corporate partners. And today's event doesn't happen without Starbucks. Starbucks not only is an amazing icon, but they're right here headquarters in Seattle, as we all know. And among all the great things they do beside amazing products, they also are committed to this community and to our country in so many ways, uh, advocates for youth education and for hiring our veterans. And at this point, I would love to have their spokesperson, Aaron Combs, come forward and please say a few words. Let's give it up for Starbucks, everybody. Yeah. Richard mentioned my name is Erin Combs. I manage Starbucks local community partnerships based here in Seattle and on behalf of Starbucks we are so so proud to be back partnering with Seafair again this summer. Uh, Seafair really is just the quintessential symbol of summer in Seattle. I mean the spectacle of the boats and the planes are amazing and I don't know where else in the world you're going to get to meet pirates and clowns and princesses and commodores all in the same place. But as Richard said, what Seafair is really about at its core is all about bringing this community together. And that's why Starbucks is so proud to be a partner with Seafair again. Uh, we opened our first store just down the street more than 40 years ago. And since that time, we've been deeply committed to this community. 
supporting the amazing organizations and cultural institutions that make Seattle such a great place to live and play. And Seed Fair is just no exception. So thank you uh, to Seed Fair for being such great partners. And over the next eight weeks, uh, Seed Fair and Starbucks, in the spirit of bringing the community together, will be uh, having fun all over the Puget Sound region. So right as soon as this program's done, I invite you to join us right behind uh, at the back of the plaza here and have coffee with the newly crowned king and queen in their first kind of official tour of duty. Uh, and later this afternoon, you're welcome to join us at neighborhood stores all over the town with all of the Seafair cast of characters. So thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. And let's Seafair. Give it up for Andy Cohen, ladies and gentlemen. Like it. All right, well, Aaron just spoke about royalty, so Richard, many of these people were all here anxious to hear about this year's royalty. Can we meet him finally? Let's do it. So this is really an exciting, I've never gotten to do this. I tried this cap on today and they took it off of me right away and said I got no chance to be a king or anything else. So uh, uh, for those that don't uh, fully recognize this, it's an amazing part of what we do and a meaningful aspect of our, our program. I did some research because I was curious. So we have a King Neptune and a Queen Alcyon. What's the backdrop on this? And this is what you need to know. These people are selected from a long list of potential participants because of their commitment to this community. Long standing, not a one year play, but people that not only work here, live here and care about the community, but show up as volunteers in many amazing ways to enhance the quality of our life and make all of being in Seattle better for all of us. So. Let's get on with these two, two outstanding uh, individuals right away. First, I'm going to make sure that we have, and we do on the stage with us here, our title recipient for the Seafair Scholarship Program for Women, Ms. Seafair, uh, Nella Kwan. Nella, let's give her a big round. So great to have her up here. She's going to join us as we, as we walk through my first opportunity to be a part of this whole uh, nighting. So first, we're going to talk about King Neptune, and we got an amazing individual for King Neptune. Before we tell you who it is, let me tell you some of the things this gentleman does on behalf of our community. Sisters Against Lupus is one of his major not-for-profit givebacks. He's been dedicated to promoting awareness and raising money to find a cure for lupus for some time. He and his brother also were involved with Meals for Wheels, a great difference maker. Now many of you here, especially you Seahawks fans, are there any Seahawks fans here? Okay, well, then you're, you're, you're going to definitely know, know right away I'm going to get get the cat out of the bag here uh, because he's known among many things he had a nine almost ten year NFL career which is unheard of but he's known in particular here for a little play back in 2007 in the wild card playoff against the Dallas Cowboys in which the Seahawks won and they won for one major reason he made a game saving tackle when he dove and, and pulled down Tony Romo late in the game to seal the victory for the Seahawks. So we're, he's now retired from football, but not from being a great individual and a committed person in the community. Please help me welcome to the stage King Neptune for our 67th Seafair, Jordan Babinow. Jordan? Big play, Babs! So super exciting uh, and, and equally impacting in the community in so many ways. And I had a chance to meet this young lady a couple of days ago when I was over at Hubbard Radio. Uh, she is uh, known for many things, but currently she's also known as the midday radio host for Warm 106.9. When she's not on the radio and when she's not behind the mic at Seattle Storm Games, yes, she's out doing all sorts of good for the community. Let me just give you a partial list of some of what that is. Uh, this person participates in Children's Hospital's Child Life program. Last year alone dedicated more than 100 volunteer hours to that program. She's also involved with PAWS, with Northwest Hope and Healing, Powerful Schools, and Walk and Friendship. Let's go ahead and bring her up on stage. Please welcome Seafair's 67th Queen Alcyone. 
Shelly Hart, ladies and gentlemen. for a long time, so one more time, just for me, give it up for your royalty, ladies and gentlemen. And Miss Seafair, Nella Kwan, please. All right, Richard, we have some really, really exciting news this year. Alaska Airlines Seafair Torchlight Parade Grand Marshal. Go ahead, man. So let's, uh, let's get on with this. This is pretty amazing. Uh, cities don't always have these sort of people, and certainly that they're available, but we have somebody really special as our Grand Marshal this year, and a great, great tribute to our staff and to our friends at Cairo 7 and to David Willis, our COO, for working so hard to make this happen. This incredible person grew up not far from right here, up in Edmonds, went to UW, graduated from UW. After graduating, went to the big screen in a number of movies you would know, and also a number of very popular television shows, and is currently starring as Christy Plunkett, in CBS television series, Mom. I'm talking about Anna Ferris. She'll be returning to Seattle this summer as the 2016 Alaska Airlines Torchlight Parade Grand Marshal. So let's give it up for Anna. I'm so excited to have her here. And of course, part of all of this pomp and circumstances is the official knighting ceremonies. This is the first time I've gotten to participate in this, so I'm doubly excited. Miss Seafair has been given the ceremonial sword. They weren't going to give that to me. Tonight, the king and the queen. So uh, we're going to turn it over to Nell. King Neptune and Queen Aslan, will you please step forward and before me? I, Miss Seafair, as a token of my great esteem for you and in recognition of your ability to do honor to the illustrious position, do hereby appoint Jordan Babineau and Shelly Hart as Seafair Summer Royals on this 15th day of June in the year 2016. to take and autographs to sign your royalty. <laughs> All right, so Richard, I know the excitement doesn't stop here. Tell me about the music additions this year to Seafair, man. I got a pillow here in case somebody gets tired. <laughs> so, you know, again, uh, being somewhat new to the area and studying this a bit, I found it very interesting, and many of you would know this, from Ray Charles to Nirvana to the current, chop, uh, the current chart toppers, Macklemore, to Head and Heart and so many others. Seattle's known for this diverse, eclectic, amazing history of music. And, and you all know that, and I certainly know it as I read these names. All these musicians and bands represent the diversity, as I mentioned. It's kind of a Seattle sound, different than anywhere else. What we've done through our entertainment department, Michael McBurrow, Metal Music Commission. This is brand new this year, and it's really going to be special. It's going to weave music throughout Seafair events and showcase the city's expansive array of current musical talent at all of our events, things that we haven't been able to do in the past. This partnership is called City of Music at Seafair. So we're announcing that today with you. And with that, we've appointed a 2016 
City of Music Seafair Ambassador. So let me tell you a little bit about this. With This is a rising star within the local music scene, someone who will give a great voice to the dynamic partnership that we've just created in a way that's diverse and focused on our future. Now we started out with a list of about 12 individuals that we could look at, and from this 12, it became very simple for the, the selection committee to land on this person. I'd like to invite her to come up to the stage now. Let's have a great seafair warm walker for the one and only Grace Love, ladies and gentlemen. Grace. have an echo in so much space. And when you're out there without a care, yeah, I was out of touch. Come on, y'all. But it wasn't because I didn't know enough. Oh, baby, I just knew too much. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Sky. It's been a long, a 
long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. When I go to the movies, or I go down town, somebody keep telling me. Don't hang around. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gon' come. Oh, yes it will. Oh, when I go to my brother. I say, brother, help me, please. But he winds up knocking me down. On my knees, I'm begging, please. Oh, there's been times that I thought I couldn't last. But now I know I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, a long time coming, and I know a change gon' come. Oh, yes, it will. Thank you guys so much. Amazing, and so is this new relationship we have, so count on that. And, and while we're on it, one that's been very difficult for us to keep a secret, you're going to be the first to hear right now. We've got some pretty exciting news about Seafair Summer 4th, an enhanced music presence this year, something that we have not done with this particular group for sure. And it's, it's going to be free to you. You get to come to the 4th of July for free and not only see an amazing fireworks show and be a part of so many other amazing events for family and friends, but also hear a great, great concert. What I'm talking about this year for you is the seven-piece orchestral pop ensemble known as Hey Marseille. Let's hear it for Hey Marseille. It's going to be at Seafair Summer 4th. They'll be taking the stage there. Many of you know they won the whole yes! And then, once Seafair Weekend rolls around, I hear that some heads are going to be turning more than usual around Lake Washington. Is that correct? That's right, Jose. We, we not only have the incredible air show that you've come to know and love, and the amazing uh, Albert Lee hydroplane races, Boeing, of course, celebrating their 100th anniversary with the air show and, and many of the other things going on. This year, we've added an amazing water feature. We've all heard of skiing, snow skiing, water skiing. We're talking about speed skiing, and the World Championship Speed Skiing event will be held here in Seattle in 2017 at Seafair, and you're going to get an opportunity to get a preview of it this year, 2016. Let me tell you what you're going to see. They have a booth right back here to my right, your left. Stop by and see Tim Campbell and the team there. Amazing, amazing folks. This is a worldwide spectacle. Picture NASCAR dressed in helmets and garb, a driver and an observer in a boat traveling at speeds of 100 miles an hour, 200 feet behind them on a rope, a skier, but not one, 10, as they race around the hydroplane track. It's an amazing event to see, so you'll have to come out and see that. Many other things along those lines, you'll see more music, enhanced food. We've sincerely and hardly fo hard focused on our transportation. You'll see an improved parking matrix. Uh, we've just uh, we've just inked a deal with Cascade Bike Club to provide a, a special experience we'll be announcing soon for anybody that rides their bike with discount tickets and secure valet parking for their bike. So we're really excited. We look forward to seeing you at Seafair Weekend and all 75 of our community and core events throughout the summer. Jose, what do you think? Wow, 67th year and it gets better and better and better and better. Give it up one more time, ladies and gentlemen, for Seafair. So now join us over the next 10 weeks and use the hashtag so you can learn why hashtag Seafair is summer. Use that hashtag in your pictures. You're going to love it. I'm already hashtagging it today. Taking a picture with the clowns and the pirates and everybody. I will say 75 Seafair sanctioned events are happening from the Pirates Landing to the Milk Carton Derby to the Summer 4th 
and the Seafair weekend. Make sure to go to Seafair.com for the latest and greatest on all the events. Thanks again for coming, and we will see you all at Seafair. Thanks for having us all. Have a great day, you guys. Great. This is a little greater. Ah! Uh, it must be a fifth grader. First grader. First grader. I got a few. All right. Banana? Banana? Ooh! Banana? Sure! Banana? Yes! Banana! Thank you! Banana! Another banana! Banana! Yeah! Thank you. Miss Seafair? I uh, participated in the scholarship program for women and it was an amazing experience and I'm very honored to be Miss Seafair. 
Are you excited for another year for Seafair? Yes, I am! I know the 67th year is going to be just as amazing as the past 66, so I'm excited to pass on the crown and hope she has just as much fun as I do. And your name once again, ma'am? Nella Kwan. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Seafair. You too. Happy Seafair. Thank you. Thank you. You get the girls? I got one of them. All right. Ready, clowns? No, not yet. Hi, congratulations on your uh, crowning today. How's it feel? Yeah, well, it'll feel a lot better if you were feeding me grapes, you know, taking uh, care of my queen. Uh -huh. Someone yeah, yes. needs to be rubbing her feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you like cherries? I like cherries. Grapes I like cherries, good. grapes especially. But if you squish those grapes up and let them age for a little long time, and then, and then you'll find out what's in this cup. Right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck. And We'll see you around. See all the events. See fair. See fair. This summer. All right. See you there. See you there. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Seafair Kickoff 2016. What are the Commodores do, sir? Hey, Seafair Summer. Come on out, have a great time. We'll be here. What's the responsibility of the Commodores at Seafair? What? What's the responsibility of Seafair? Or, uh, we are ambassadors for our city. We travel around the state to other cities to their festivals and ambassador for Seattle. And during Torchlight Weekend, we put on a festival here for the other cities to come in. We're participants in the Northwest Festival Hosting Association, and we also generate money for the Seattle Seafair Scholarship Fund for Women. Thank All you. of that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Have what a great he said. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hi, you're with the Boat Club? Yes, I am. What, what does the Boat Club do for Seafair? We are the volunteer pool for the hydroplane races. We also put on the milk cart and derby. That, this year, that is July 16th. Uh, and then, of course, race weekend is August 6th. So I am the Commodore. My name is Erin Miller. And this is my Vice Commodore, I'm Beth Hughes. Beth Hughes is Vice Commodore. No, 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 yeah. So you're, you're a Boat Club year-round helping Seafair? Yes, sorry. yes. You're a Boat Club helping Seafair year-round? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. It's hard to hear with the music, yes. We, uh, we also we also help uh, put on the uh, the holiday cruise, uh, which is for development of yeah. the delayed adults. Very excited. Happy Seafair. And that is in December. First weekend in December. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Happy Seafair. Hi. How are you doing? Well, thanks. How'd you get involved in Seafair? Tell us about Seafair. Oh, tell us about her how I got involved. How you got involved? Okay. Um, well, I was the West Seattle High Youth Senior Court Queen last year, so I'm um, running for Miss Seafair is like the next step from that. Um, and I've known so many people who've run for Miss Seafair, and they've just had a blast doing it. So I'm really excited to be like, having my turn with it. How'd you get involved in Seafair? Well, my grandparents are part of the Corvette Club that are part of the Torchlight Parade, so I grew up with it, and I did it two years ago. So I'm excited to be back with the program again. Excellent. And how about yeah. you, ma'am? Hi, I'm representing the Greater Seattle Chinese Chamber of Commerce. So I participated in Miss Chinese Seattle last year, um, and now they're sending me to Seafair to kind of represent the Chinese community um, throughout Seafair. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank Have a great sea fair, 2016. And of course, what would be opening sea fair without a hydroplane here? Said uh, fire issue, fiery stream issue came forth before him, and thousands upon thousands ministered unto him, and tens of petitioners. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it from Seattle, Washington, downtown Seattle, Westlake Mall. The opening ceremonies for Seafair 2016. See ya all summer long, Seafair 2016. Copyright 2016, Solid Video Productions. See it, Seafair. Enjoy!